<laughs> Maureen, this next story that you're going to get to is all about a local mm -hmm. icon. <laughs> Alicia, everyone is a little bit famous in a small town. We all know the phrase, but there is one place here that is both small town and big city famous. There are only a few businesses Just a tea with no lemon. that are so iconic half and half. they're instantly recognizable. 24 even in Bessemer City. All right, girls, let's see. That place All righty, Nancy. is McDonald's. There was an older lady at the church that we went to, and she couldn't remember my name. So you know what she called me? Happy. And she said, you know, like the Happy Meal. Well, there aren't any golden arches. A cup. A small cup. There are two golden personalities behind the counter. She's been goofing with the bees. <laughs> Is it good? Goofing with the bees. Bobby. You mean your first name? Joe. Yeah. Joe. I can spell that. <laughs> and Susie McDonald. Between me and Susie, our little carrying on. Uh, the customers love to see that. They call it uh, uh, dinner and a show. You show me some attention, I will latch on to you. The two have been married. 47? For a while. I say I married it. Not that I married him, I married it. For decades, they've been here working at Bobby's family's restaurant. Okay. His parents opened it in 1965. I do, I miss him every day, buddy. Bobby ran it with his siblings. And it was a little bit of an odd feeling. The first time I'd ever thought about it. But they're all gone now. I had Susie by my side. Okay, so it's, it's family, it's just, it's the only thing I've known. There are no other McDonald's in town. Twelve dollars, madam. And it'll stay that way. <laughs> Here's the other side. If they were to move into town, I could sue them for using McDonald's here. This is a family restaurant. Oh, you got it? I got it right here. Okay. Oh, was you doing here? I was going to, but you go ahead. Where everyone can't help it feels like family. So they've got some long-time employees at McDonald's, and every dollar that goes into the tip jar is actually donated back out to the community. That's what the employees decided to do. And Alicia, I'm not going to lie, that story made me hungry. 